welcome back. Uh, so, playoffs, they're here. Um, they'll start this Wednesday, I believe, and best time of the year. Uh, you know, all the YouTube hockey channels will be doing their predictions, so might as well do that as well. Um, if you watched last year's predictions, they did not go well at all. Uh, I've done much better in my KHL predictions than I have in my NHL ones. Um, so, We'll see how many we get wrong this year. Um, we'll start off with the Eastern Conference. I know I say this a lot, but I'll try to make this not too, too long. Um, we'll kind of go through all the teams and all the matchups, and we'll see who I think is going to win. All right, so you can see I have all the teams uh, lined up here. I have the first place Tampa Bay Lightning over here. I don't know if you can see that. Their opponent, the wild card Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, the next matchup, Boston versus Toronto. Then we have the Islanders taking on the Penguins. And then we have the second place Washington Capitals taking on the wild card Carolina Hurricanes down there. All right, so the first matchup, the Tampa Bay Lightning um, taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Quite frankly, if Columbus does win, this will be one of the biggest upsets in NHL history. And I don't think anyone can really argue with that. I think it would be cool to see them go on. Uh, it would be a crying shame, though, for Tampa to go out in the first round. Tampa, the season that they had, Nikita Kucherov, Stamkos, Braden Point. You know, the list goes on and on with players who've had fantastic years for them. Um, Columbus, on the other hand, you know, they've acquired a lot of players at the trade deadline. So they're really pushing for it. This is the third year in a row now. Uh, the first time in franchise history that they've made the playoffs three years in a row. Um... They've yet to win a round in the playoffs, so if you're going to do it, uh, this would be the year to do it, and what a story that would be. But as far as uh, the winner, who do I think is going to win? So my pick is Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm going to say Tampa in six. I think Columbus will give them a decent fight, but I think Columbus just is outmatched on every single line in net, on defense. Um... So we'll see how this series goes. Should be a good one. I'm going to be watching this one pretty closely because I absolutely really am enjoying t watching Tampa. And Columbus just got a player uh, called up from the minors who I'm a huge, huge fan of, uh, and Alex Texier. So I'll be kind of curious to see if he gets a chance to play at all for them as well. So should be good. Before anyone asks why I have two uh, Capitals jerseys hung up, um, this is where the jersey of the defending Stanley Cup champion will be hung. So when I do even the Western Conference ones and all the playoff ones, Washington won't move from that position until either A, they repeat and then they'll stay there, or B, they'll lose and I replace the jersey uh, with the team who won. All right, up next, the Toronto versus Boston series. Uh, second year in a row for them. Um, you know, an original six rivalry one that Boston seemingly gets the upper hand with in the playoffs. Uh, Toronto's got one more of the experience under their belt. Unfortunately, it might not really help them in this particular series because it's against the exact same team they lost to. Uh, but Toronto does have, you know, a huge new weapon in John Tavares for themselves to try to, you know, beat Boston. Uh, Boston, on the other hand, has had a very, you know, I think a surprising season almost. I didn't really think they are going to be as good as they were. Uh, the addition of Yarrow Halak and, you know, David Pasternak taking a step forward has really helped Boston. Uh, Brad Marchant, he also got 100 points this year. I didn't see that coming. Um, so Boston, you know, has played very, very well and they deserve a lot of credit. But Toronto, I think, has some potential this year. You know, if Nylander can get going, um, we all know how great Matthews is. I, th We all know how much I love Marner. I think he could potentially just win this series by himself without anyone's help. Um, if Freddie Anderson can, you know, hold down the fort and, you know, steal some games, I think Toronto definitely could win. Will they, though? That's the question, I guess. Uh, so my pick for the Boston and Toronto series, I think Toronto can win. Um, I think this could be their year to at least get to the second round and keep going. If they don't beat Boston, I think there'll be some questions between behind the bench, maybe, almost. Um, I don't know if any of it's true, but we always kind of hear about the rift between Mike Babcock and Kyle Dupas. I'm not really a Leafs fan whatsoever, so I don't really pay attention to them as much as I can. 
So I don't really know if that's true or not, but Leafs fans might have, know better than I will. But I really think Toronto could do it this year. Um, I'm not saying win, this, win the cup, don't get me wrong. I'm saying get to the second round. Uh, I think that would be an absolutely huge, huge step for them. And if they can get to the second round, who knows from there. But So yeah, if Toronto can finally get over the Boston hump, uh, much like Washington did last year with Pittsburgh, you know, they it could turn into something special from there. But it really kind of, I think, comes down to Freddie Anderson. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to say Toronto in... I'm going to say six. Toronto better hope it doesn't go to Game 7. They don't have a very good history against Boston in Game 7, so... You know, let's say seven. Let's say seven just to make it interesting. Toronto and seven. All right, so next we have the Islanders and the Penguins. Um, to be completely honest, this is a series I'm probably the least interested in. Unless Casey to Smith gets in the net for Pittsburgh, uh, all of a sudden then this might become my most watched. But for right now, eh. Uh, the Islanders and Penguins have played a few times in the playoffs before, most notably probably 93 when the Islanders upset the defending champion Penguins. Um, I think they played again in 2013. Uh, those are the only two times off the top of my head that I can think of. Um, Pittsburgh did beat the Islanders then. Uh, so this will be, I think, a hard-fought series. The Islanders exceeded a lot of expectations, and Pittsburgh almost at times looked like they were going to drop out of the playoffs, and they didn't get a playoff until, what, the Wednesday? Um, so, like, the last... Just like a day or two before the playoffs. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so the Pittsburgh, were they were not a lock to make the playoffs. Uh, they did get in. Um, Crosby had a fantastic year, another 100 points for him. First time in a quite a while, I think, what, 2011 or 12 or something, that he had 100 points. Um, so it's been a while for Crosby. Again, this series, I think, kind of comes down to uh, the Islanders goaltending. Is it going to be um, Grice, or is it going to be Leonard? Are either of them going to be able to kind of do the job in the playoffs? Completely unknown, really. But it's going to be kind of curious to see who will lead the charge for the Islanders up front with no John Tavares in the playoffs. Um, you know, we all know Andres Lee, uh, Josh Bailey, Matt Barzell. They've had fantastic seasons. Can that can kind of... Uh, so can that kind of carry over into the playoffs? We'll, we'll find out here. And for Pittsburgh... They're Pittsburgh. They have all the experience in the world. Um, I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh were able to sweep the Islanders. I'm not going to say that, but you never know. I am going to take Pittsburgh in this. Uh, like I said, Pittsburgh has all the experience in the world, and the Islanders are kind of unknown what they are at this point in the season. They're a very well-coached team. Uh, if they can get the goaltending, I'm not necessarily sold on their defense, but... Pittsburgh is just, they're Pittsburgh, so it's hard to bet against them. And I'm going to say Pittsburgh in, we'll do five. I'll say Pittsburgh in five. All right, and the last matchup in the Eastern Conference. Um, this is the one I'm honestly the most kind of curious to watch and the most excited for. Uh, I haven't heard anything, but I'm absolutely praying to whatever hockey gods will listen that Washington does not wear that throwback jersey. Because if they do, I want them to get swept, just like Calgary. That being said, uh, Washington is the defending Stanley Cup champions, and Carolina has absolutely surged their way right into the playoffs. The season, Peter Mrazek, um, Curtis McElhaney, and you know Sebastian Ajo, uh, so many players. I it's too long of a list. So I do kind of see a not a lot of similarities between the 06 and um, this year's Carolina teams, but. The one thing that they do have in common is, you know, they are very, very team-oriented. There's not a huge number of individual superstars. It's a very score-by-committee, defense-by-committee type team. There are almost no better atmospheres or arenas to watch a playoff hockey game than in Carolina. Uh, when the fans get going and they actually, you know, show up because their team is winning, they are some of the best fans in the NHL. And you can argue that all you want. I don't really care. The 06 and 09 runs I remember very, very well, and they were absolutely just insane atmospheres and probably my favorite games to watch in on TV. But who do I think is going to win? I'm going to say Carolina wins. I'm going to say they pull off the upset here. Uh, I know Carolina is probably the biggest underdog. Uh, no, Columbus is. I'm not going to lie. 
I don't think Columbus has it, but I do think the wild card Hurricanes can beat the defending champs. I'm going to say in seven. I'm going to say in game seven and in like double overtime. It's going to be epic. Um, they are wearing their black jerseys. I don't have their current black jersey, but I do have their old black jersey, so I figured I should wear it as well. Like I said, this is probably the series that I'm the most excited about, and we'll see how it goes. Moving on now to the Western Conference. All right, moving on to the Western Conference now. We have some very exciting matchups in the West that I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, so we'll pretty much start it off with the first card. First card. Uh, the first seed Calgary Flames taking on the wild card Colorado Avalanche. So Calgary has had an unbelievable season living here in Calgary. I've you know experienced it firsthand. I've gone to a number of games this season, and they didn't lose a lot of them. Um, Calgary has been. You know, I've never seen Calgary play this good. I've lived in Calgary, I think, eight years in total, two separate stints, but I've never seen them this, this good. Um, so they are very scary going into the playoffs. But you can't take Colorado lightly. Um, Colorado might have a question in net. Varlamov for Philip Grubauer, so Colorado, I'm not too sure if they can pull this one off. Colorado, though, is also kind of concerning in the fact that they started off so good and they went into a massive tailspin and nearly missed the playoffs and they had to fight right till the very end to get in. So I am very concerned with Colorado. Having said that, though, I think they can, you know, smack Calgary around a little bit. Um, but do I think they can win? Yeah, no. I don't think Colorado is going to win this series. Um... In my five teams that I don't want to win the Stanley Cup, I said I don't want Calgary going very far because they're wearing those ugly-ass retro jerseys. I hate them. hate them so much. Um, but doesn't mean I think they're going to lose. But yeah, I just don't see Calgary uh, losing this one. All right, so up next, Winnipeg and St. Louis. Uh, but looking at this series, this one, um, I have no idea what to expect. St. Louis got off to just an absolutely horrendous start. They were at 31st at one point in the in the year. And Winnipeg, they had a relatively, you know, I don't want to say easy year, but, you know, a successful year. Um, Lion A, he's gone through his horrible, horrible cold streaks, but when he's scoring, he's scoring at a rapid pace. Um, just ask St. Louis. They will probably remember the five-goal game. So we'll see if... St. Louis can kind of continue this magical run that they're on and see if they can beat the Jets. Uh, I think the Jets are very, very deep. And, you know, if Hellebuck can kind of get his stuff together, he can help Winnipeg. So I think the goaltending is even. Um, Jordan, Binnington, and Jake Allen. Uh, Binnington, obviously, no playoff experience. And Jake Allen has struggled at times in the playoffs, but he's been there. And Hellebuck, you know, they went to the conference final last year, so should be interesting. Uh, as far as who do I think is going to win this matchup, though, if the Winnipeg Jets can stay healthy and Line A gets going and can put the puck in the net on a consistent basis, I don't see any reason why the Jets shouldn't be able to win and at least make it back to the second round. Nice thing about this series, though, is either way, I'm not really pulling for anyone in this particular series. Very different from almost every other series. Um with the exception of the Toronto-Boston one. I think I have a team that I want to win for each round. This one, I can kind of just sit back and watch and enjoy and not really have to worry about cheering for anyone or hoping someone will lose. So that's kind of nice. I'm just hoping for some really good hockey in this one, and we'll probably get it. All right, so up next, we have the San Jose Sharks taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, this one, I'm not excited about for the simple fact that I really like both these teams. So one of the teams that I want to win the Stanley Cup is going to be out in the first round. Uh, they did meet in the playoffs last year. San Jose didn't, uh, they didn't do very well against Vegas. Um, Vegas just overpowered them. They surprised them and beat them and were off to the conference final. Uh, this year, if they beat them again, they'll be going to the second round uh, as opposed to the conference final. Unlike last year, uh, everyone was, I think, kind of expecting... San Jose to win, at least I did. I was completely wrong. I, I honestly, I really thought San Jose was going to beat them, and I was very, very wrong. Uh, this year, honestly, I don't know. Um, I have to pick one between the two. Um, I like Vegas more. Sorry, Nick. But who do I think is going to win? 
Last year, I bet the whole playoffs against Vegas, so I'm going to kind of keep doing it because it seemed to work. Uh, so I am going to take San Jose. San Jose in seven, we'll say. Um, either way, honestly, whoever wins, this is going to be a heavy, hard-hitting series. And I'm very much so looking forward to this one. Um, this is going to be the one that I probably watch the most in the West. If San Jose can get the goaltending from Martin Jones, this pick might not be so bad. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Vegas can surprise everyone again. And like I said, I'm hoping they do. But uh, I'm going to bet against Vegas and I'm taking the Sharks. Alright, and last but not least, we have the Nashville Predators taking on the wild card Dallas Stars. Uh, this one, I'm very torn on as well. Uh, Dallas has played very good when they're good. Uh, but they've played very bad when they're bad. Makes sense, right? I really don't know what to expect from Dallas. It's been a couple seasons since they've been in the playoffs. They've had, you know, a bunch of new players, you know, most notably Alex Radulov. Uh, this is the first time Radulov's been back in the playoffs since his um, short comeback with Montreal. And before that, he was playing for the Nashville Predators in the playoffs in 2012. Uh, it didn't go so great for them in 2012 for the Predators. Radulov had a decent run in the playoffs. Uh, he just kind of came over from the KHL. Uh, but now Radulov is playing for the Stars, and he's played very, very good. On um, And I feel like Radulov has been their best player uh, at times, and at times he's carried the team. Uh, other times he kind of disappears, and he kind of gets lost, and you kind of forget he's there. But, you know, this is the time that, um, more importantly, Sagan and Ben can prove their president or CEO or whoever said their those comments about them. They can prove them wrong here in the playoffs push them through to the first round, get into the second round, and you never know what can happen. I honestly, I really don't know who I'm going to pick in this series. Um, I'll be watching this one very closely. Again, both teams, I would like to see win the Stanley Cup, so much like the last um, series between Vegas and San Jose. One of the teams I want to win the Stanley Cup is going out in the first round. Um, so I'm not excited about that. So who do I think, though, is going to end up winning this series? I guess I'm taking Dallas. I went, I put on my Nashville jersey, I was walking back here, and then I changed my mind. I'm going to take Dallas. Um, why not? I picked Carolina to upset Washington. I'll take Dallas to upset Nashville. I'm going to say Dallas in six. You know what? Let's be bold. I'm going to say Dallas in five. Um, I like this jersey actually a lot. I haven't worn this one a lot. This is quite nice. Sorry, sidetracked. Um, Dallas, I would love to see a Dallas-Carolina final. I think that'd be pretty cool. I know everyone who thinks they're a real hockey fan would probably scream at that one, but I think it'd be cool. All right, everyone, that wraps up the first round playoff predictions. Um, like I said, last year I was, I think, wrong on all of them except one, maybe. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes this year. Let me know who you think is going to make a run for it. I'm kind of curious to see what other people think and who is going to suck and get out in the first round or get swept. There's usually always at least one sweep in the first round. Also, let me know what matchups you guys are most looking forward to. Like I said, the uh, the Columbus... No, sorry. Well, yeah, the Columbus-Tampa one's pretty up there. The Dallas-Nashville, Vegas-San Jose, and the Carolina-Washington one. Those are the ones I'm most looking forward to, so kind of curious to see which ones you guys are looking forward to. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any interest, you guys can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. Uh, Instagram is probably better than Twitter, to be completely honest. I'm not going to lie. But if not, I will see you guys again in the next video. Uh, in the meantime, though, take care. Bye.